Hello everyone, Cat Goblin or Martin here. Christmas is coming very soon, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing every single enemy in LEGO Harry Potter Years 1 to 4. This is going to be part 1 of the review because there are a lot of enemies in this game, so without further ado, let's get into the review. One key thing to note is that all enemies that attack you only take away one heart of health, and I'm going to be starting off with all the enemies in the Philosopher's Stone, so let's take a look at them. Starting off with our first enemy, we have the Giant Bee. You first encounter it in Forbidden Forest and can be found in Follow the Spiders and Dementor's Kiss. Bees enemies hover above the ground and they can come out of bee hives. For attacks, it will sting you. It only has 2 HP and they are super easy to defeat. Next is the Devil's Snare. You first encounter it in Hogwarts and can be found in the Forbidden Forest, the face of the enemy, and the build of world. The Devil's Snare is pretty much a bunch of vines, and when you get very close to them, they will strangle you. If you move around while being strangled, you will get damaged. To defeat it, all you have to do is cast the Lumo Solemn spell. Next are the vines. These plants are located throughout the whole game, and they pop out of the ground when you go near their area. To defeat them, all you have to do is activate the Lumo spell and then walk over to the plant. Next enemy, which is pretty much a mini boss, is the Gargoyle, and is only found in Hogwarts. In this side level, Malfoy throws Neville's Rememberall over to a Gargoyle, and the goal is to get the Rememberall back. So basically, you got to mount a broomstick as Harry, because Harry is the only one that can cast spells while riding. You fly over to the Gargoyle and cast a spell at it. The Gargoyle will then toss the Rememberall to another Gargoyle, which becomes the mini boss. You then have to chase the gargoyle and hit it three times. After that, the gargoyle will toss the rememberall to a plant and will fly away. To defeat the plant, you just have to hit three of its flowers, and then the rememberall will be released. <laughs>
Next are the possessed books. You first encounter them in the restricted section and can be found in the Quidditch World Cup. When you get close to these hopping books, they will chase and bite you. To defeat it, you have to use Harry in his invisibility cloak, and in the Quidditch World Cup, you have to brew an invisibility potion to turn invisible, and then you can defeat it by pressing C. Also, these books can instantly kill you. Next is Filch. You first encounter him in the restricted section and can be found in Mischief Managed and the Build World. In the levels that he appears in, Filch will be patrolling around the area with his lantern. He can only see you if you're very close in his sight, but his cat Miss Norris can give away your location by following you. If Filch makes contact with you, he will grab you. The only way to get him to let go is that you'll have to switch over to your buddy and cast a spell at Filch's cat. Filch will then let go and go to where his cat starts off. You can avoid him with the invisibility cloak and invisibility potions, but in the build world he will just hit you with his lantern, and he is a playable character. <laughs> Next are the Prefix and the One Slytherin Student. The Prefix can be found in Hogwarts and the Build World, and the Slytherin Students can be found in a Jinxed Broom. These students will force you away if you approach them. In the Build World, depending on who you play as, certain Prefix will let you pass them. They can be fooled by Harry with his Invisibility Cloak and Invisibility Potions, and some of them are playable characters. <laughs> Now, besides prefix, students on paintings can become obstacles. If you want to gain access or get the minikit crest, you have to use a student, teacher, or character that is associated with that house. 
Once you do that, the student on the picture will open a new area for you or toss you the mini kit crest. Next is the Slytherin student and the Red Wizard. Both of these guys will be jumping up and down holding a character token. If you cast a spell at them, the student will run away and the Red Wizard will teleport away. Eventually, you'll chase them near a basket, and when you lift the lid of the basket, a snake will pop out. They will be scared, and then you can get the character token that they dropped. <laughs> Next is Fluffy. You first encounter him in Hogwarts and can be found in the face of the enemy. In Hogwarts, you use Fluffy to scare the Red Wizard in the painting. Now in the face of the enemy, Fluffy will be barking at you. He can't really hurt you and he pushes you back. To defeat him, all you have to do is cast a spell at the painting. Once you do that, the Red Wizard that was taking a bath will throw a rubber duck out of the painting. And then you can force the duck to Fluffy which will keep him distracted. While he's distracted, you can then build the heart, which will put Fluffy to sleep, and then you can go down the trap door. <laughs> Last, we have the white chess pieces, and they are only found in the face of the enemy. The white chess pieces can't hurt you, but they can defeat your black chess pieces. To defeat some of them, all you have to do is move your chess pieces by casting a spell at them, or if it's a rook, you mount it. You can only move certain black chess pieces, and the white chess pieces drop silver studs when you defeat them. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> 
So those were all the enemies in the Philosopher's Stone. Now moving on to the Chamber of Secrets. Our first enemy is the chest, and it's only found in flu powder in the Borgen and Burke's shop. At first, this enemy looks like an ordinary chest, but when you approach it, the chest will jump forwards and open, showing sharp teeth. To defeat it, all you have to do is cast a spell at it. The teeth will fall off, then you can enter the chest to get to the secret room, and this chest can instantly kill you. Another enemy that is like the chest is the Slytherin Trunk, and it's only located in news from Azkaban. The only thing different with it is that it doesn't instantly kill you. Next are the Pixies. They can be found throughout Hogwarts, most of the levels, and the build world. These Pixies will be flying around in the air, and sometimes they can hold items or become an obstacle. To defeat it, all you have to do is cast the Immobilist spell at it twice, and it will break into pieces. <laughs> Next is the Mandrake. These small creatures can be found throughout Hogwarts, some levels, and the build world. The Mandrake will be sitting on the ground and when you approach it, it will scream, which makes you cover your ears. To defeat it, you'll want to get some earmuffs from a closet, then you can pick it up and place it in its paw. If you drop the Mandrake away from its area, it will walk back, and they can be super useful for breaking glass. <laughs> Next, we have the Mannequin. It can be found in side levels in Hogwarts and in the build world. The Mannequin is equipped with a wand which it will use to cast spells at you. 
To defeat it, you cast the Transfiguration or Expelliarma spell at it. In the build world, you have to use a Dark Magic user to cast the Vada Kedavra spell to defeat it. Next is the giant brown spider. You first encounter it in Follow the Spiders and can be found in the Dark Lord Returns. These spiders will come down from Silk Threads, they will run up and bite you, and they only have 2 HP. Also, they can latch on to the flying magic car and scooter while you are being chased by Aragog. In the Hedge Maze in the Dark Lord Returns, the brown spider appears as an ally. So basically, you have to place giant flies on webs in the spider's view. The spider will help you by breaking blocks, and it will scare the sphinx away. Next is the giant black spider. You first encounter it in flu powder and can be found in Fall of the Spiders, the Shrieking Shack, and the Build World. This spider is pretty much like the last one. It does not attack you in Nocturne Alley, and you use them to defeat Aragog. Next is Draco Malfoy. You first encounter him as a mini-boss in the Dueling Club. In the Dueling Club, Malfoy has 5 hearts of health, and you defeat him by using the Expelliarmus spell. Malfoy will also cast the same spell. He will sidestep to avoid your spells, and he's pretty easy to defeat.
Next is Crab and Goyle. In the Dueling Club side mission, if you switch over to Ron, you can actually fight Crab, but he's pretty much invincible. <laughs> In news from Azkaban, Goyle will be preventing you from entering the area to enter the Hogwarts Express by making the entry bar spin, but you can just scare him off when you get to the other side. Also, Malfoy will be tampering with the train's steam to block you, but you can plug the steam with a flower. In the snowball fight with Malfoy and Hogsmeade, if you cast spells at Crab or Goyle, they will cast spells at you. In the build world, Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle will just stand there and cast spells at you. <laughs> <laughs> Last in the Chamber of Secrets is the infamous Tom Riddle, and he's only found in the Basilisk. He doesn't really attack you, instead he pushes you away when you're at the sides or center of the pool of water, and he can teleport. He prevents you from leaving the battle, and he is a playable character. everyone so that was part one of the enemy review like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next part of the review